I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand the concept of linearization and how to approximate values of a trigonometric ratio using tangent line approximation. Question here is explain how can you use the method of linear approximation to approximate the value of sine 11 pi by 10. So let's first sketch a sine graph and then we'll go from there. So sine graph is something like this. Where the maximum and minimum values are plus one and minus one. At zero it is zero, it is maximum at pi by two. Then at pi it is again zero, 3 pi by 2, it is minus 1, and at 2 pi, it is 0. So that's the sine graph. Now we need to approximate the value of sine 11 pi by 10. Now sine 11 pi by 10 could be thought of as uh, pi plus 1 over 10, right? 11 can be written as 10, right? So it is 10 plus 1 is 11 over 10 of this pi which is which is basically equals to sine 10 over 10 is 1 which is so so you can say it is sine pi plus one tenth of a pi right so that is to say the point which we are interested in is is very close to pi right one tenth away or one tenth of pi away so let us assume that this point is here right so this point is 11 pi by 10 for us. We need to find the value of sine 11 pi by 10 really means that we need to find what is the value on the curve. So that is the y value. Is it okay? So this value is what we need to find. So, so that is the value we are looking for. Now the idea is that we know what sine pi is. We know sine pi is equal to zero right that is what we know but this point is very close to it it's close to zero we know it's negative but what it is it's very difficult to estimate now the method to estimate here is that if i draw a tangent at pi on this graph of sine x then let me show you how let me say we draw a tangent line so i'll purposely make it slightly more uh, diverging so that we can appreciate what we are trying to do but strictly speaking the tangent will be very very close to this point right so if I draw a tangent then it is going to be slightly above this point but very very close but in this case I'm drawing purposely a tangent which is slightly away right so it is I'm trying to show more distance so that you can appreciate what we are trying to do so if I draw a tangent at pi that's the tangent line then at 11 pi by 10 the value of y will be slightly less than the actual value right so that is the approximation right so so on the tangent line so we can say on tangent line we can have approximate value which will be at 11 pi by 10 uh, let me call this value this value as as uh, lx that is a linear approximation is it okay so this value is linear approximation as you can see from here we know that the value which we which we approximated linear approximated is actually very very close to actual y value is that okay so that is what we have so what i will do here is i'll call this point as 11 pi by 10 comma linearly approximate point lx or you could say y also right and this point we know is pi and zero so now if you know two points on a line and the slope 
then you can find equation of the line and the y value right so that is the whole concept is it okay yeah, you could always use what i'm trying to say the formula which is which is y minus y1 equals to m times x minus x1 correct so that formula can be used and from here y value will be equals to y1 plus m times x minus x1 now since our point is on this tangent line we are calling it approximate value so it is not exactly y but we are calling this as linear approximation value lx right and y1 is this value right that's the coordinate x y right so the value is zero in our case right so so that is that is zero in our case plus the slope m which we'll try to figure out and x is 11 pi by 10 11 pi by 10 minus x1 which is pi is it okay so that is what it is so as you can see here we need to just find slope once we find the slope we get approximate value of sine 11 pi by 10 right so it becomes so simple so i hope you appreciate this concept right so now now we'll do the needful to find the slope so let's get back to the question we need to find approximate value for sine 11 pi by 10 which is very close to pi one tenth of a pi on the right so we are expecting a negative value okay now we know sine pi is equal to zero so that gives us x1 y1 that means at pi we have zero so that is our point so which is treated as like x1 y1 point is it okay now the function here is sine x right so we have a function which we have drawn here as sine x now the derivative of this function is cos x to find the equation of this tangent line at x equals to pi we'll find this derivative at pi which is cos pi right and that is equals to minus 1 so what we get here is slope m equals to minus 1 at x equals to pi right so so we get this value of slope which is minus 1 right and uh, we know what x1 y1 is so now from here we know the slope we know the value of this function at pi which is f of pi which is 0 so we know all these points so we can say that the approximate value l of x is equals to 0 which is which is this point right 0 m is minus 1 times 11 pi by 10 11 pi by 10 which is the point which we are interested in x minus x1 which is pi right that is the answer right so so if you do that you get just pi by 10 over the negative sign so we get this as minus pi by 10 do you see that so we know that actual value is y but this value is slightly more than y but the answer is minus pi by 10 which you could write approximately as minus pi is 3.14 right divided by 10 which is minus 0.314 right so we get this value which is slightly away therefore we are calling it approximate value right so we have an approximate value of sine 11 pi by 10 so if you see we also know that it is slightly more than the actual value but it is very very close but i hope with this you have understood the concept how tangent line approximation works and how accurately we can actually find this answer so two decimal places we, we are always right with this kind of an approximation i hope that really helps you to understand the concept we'll take some multiple choice questions which will help you to prepare for tests like ap calculus or sat I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that really helps. You can share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and 
all the best